we've got $300 or $600. Is the price difference worth it? We'll find out on today's episode of Versus. What's up, Superhumans? BT here. If you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome. I like to create content that's gonna help you move, feel, and perform better, both mentally and physically. So if that kind of thing floats your boat, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Welcome to Versus. This is where we take two products that compete against each other in the space of tech and fitness. We pit them head to head to see which one deserves your hard earned money. Because let's face it, if you're gonna spend this much money, you only wanna do it once. Today we are taking a look at massage guns, AKA percussive therapy. And if you've been looking at a massage gun, you have probably seen one of these two come up. We've got the Hypervolt from Hyperice and the Theragun from Therabody. First of all, neither Hyperice or Therabody has sponsored this video. This is my unbiased opinion. Neither of those companies has paid me to do either of these reviews. Uh, like I said, just my opinion. Now, both of these devices claim to achieve the exact same thing, and that's to improve your life through quicker and better recovery. Now, since this is a review video, I'm not gonna be talking about the science or how percussive therapy works. This is a review video, so I'm just gonna be telling you what each company has to offer. Speaking of offerings, the Hypervolt comes in at $300 and the Theragun Pro comes in at $600. You know, that's a massive gap in price. So if they essentially do the same thing, do things like ergonomics, weight, noise, attachments, battery life, do those things justify double the price? Let's take a closer look. <laughs> about this Hypervolt though. It has a new version. So this is the older version. I don't know why I did quotes. It is older, but it's I guess to say it's not really that old, nor is it obsolete. So this version comes with four attachments. The new version comes with five attachments and a force meter. But as you'll see in the video here later on, that if you don't have that force meter, if you don't have that fifth attachment, not a big deal, honestly. All right, so it comes with four attachments, wall charger. It's broken down into two main pieces. Uh, we've got the battery and the unit itself. Installation of which, quite easy. Let's get this out of the way. Basically, there's a notch on the battery right here and notch, and then it just clicks in and you're good to go. All right, so there's the, the, the Hypervolt. Now we've got Theragun Pro. Ooh, much bigger box that takes a really long time. I mean, this is an Apple product. It comes in a hardish cloth covered travel case. Inside, you're going to find a charger for the battery. You cannot charge the battery while in the device. You actually have to take it out, put it on this charger. It comes with an AC adapter, wall charger, and then a, a little pouch that comes with the six attachments. So not four, not five, it has six. Let's take a look at the travel case. Unzip it so it's hard. Like I said, it's kind of wrapped like a cloth. But we undo that and we're gonna find the device and, ooh, big bonus, extra battery, and then kind of like a Theragun, what's it got in here? Uh, a letter from the CEO, it's some stickers, and some stuff, some stuff. So from a unboxing standpoint, I would definitely give the win to the Theragun. 
let us go over the attachments. Now, on the Hypervolt, we've got four attachments, like I said, and there is one exclusive. I mean, all of these are kind of exclusive to Hypervolt, but these shapes, these three, are very similar to what you're going to find in the Theragun. However, this fork one is really interesting. It's very exclusive to uh, Hypervolt. I'm going to be honest, not easy to pry these suckers out, though, out of this hard styrofoam. All right, so this fork is exclusive to the Hypervolt, and it is very nice. I like it. Um, again, on the updated Hypervolt, they updated this attachment. They gave it a material that slides smoothly across the skin or more smoothly across the skin that's what they say it also has like these bigger nubs at the end one of the things that theragun pros attachments how they differ from the hypervolt is out of the actual material it might be kind of hard to see but this material like watch very like it's a not hard but it's not soft, it's like a foam. This is like hard plastic. And Hypervolt is like, hey, we don't use hard plastic because it can damage the skin. However, in practice, when actually using this, at these high settings, like the, the percussions per minute that these things output, you can't tell a difference. I cannot tell a difference between this and this. Theragun, however, makes this, it is their super soft attachment. And, I mean, it's nice. It's really soft. You could definitely tell the difference with this sucker. But but between these, you just can't. And this one's actually fairly soft, and I still can't. Once you start using, like, the thumb, the thumb nub, or the cone that's on the, the gun, they're so hard, you really can't tell a difference. I will say, though, uh, because you're getting six... And you're only getting four. I kind of got to give a give the attachment win to Theragun. So Theragun right now is up 2-0. We've got unboxing and attachments. Also, I will say that the Super Soft and the Chisel are exclusive to Theragun. You can't get those on the Hypervolt. And I also will say that the Chisel is money. This is probably my favorite attachment, followed by this one. This is great on flat bones. These are, this is really good for pushing out inflammation like on your back, that sort of thing. Great attachments. Both sides have great attachments. Win goes to the Theragun, though. Let's talk about battery life. A uh, big component to both of these. Both of these come with fairly large batteries. First of all, you can charge Hypervolt with the battery plugged in. The wall charger just goes right there on the bottom flip it on. The cool thing about uh, this particular battery on the Hypervolt is it's got an LED ring around here that will let you know the charge. Green, yellow, red. Pretty, pretty universal. But it also has a battery indicator up here. Five degrees, five LEDs, and then the red one. So I guess six. No, five. I can count. So it's got two places that it's going to let you know the battery life. Hyperice recommends before ever using this when you first get it to charge it for six, uh, six hours, but after that, every subsequent charge should only take about two hours. The battery is stated to last three hours, depending on how much pressure you're putting into it. You know how much you're really, uh, how much stress you're putting on the motor, and then how fast you're running it. So just FYI, uh, yeah, three hours of charge time on the Hypervolt, which is which is quite a lot and I'll tell you why because very rarely are using this thing for hours for a half an hour you're gonna use it for like four to ten minutes I would say on average so three hours is gonna last you a lot of sessions it's not like an Apple watch where you have to charge it every other night basically Theragun the Theragun's battery has to be charged uh, outside of the device so you press that little button it pops out also a pretty big battery but this one will only give you two and a half hours 
So again, you can either buy the wireless charger, which I believe is $80 from Theragun, and then you can leave it in there, or you have to take it out, put it in its stand, plug in the uh, the wall charger here, and then bada bing, bada boom. It also takes two hours to charge, 120 minutes. But Theragun also offers three different chargers, and depending on which charger you use, it will determine how qu quickly or how slowly it will charge. So again, you get two and a half hours of total runtime, but remember, as a perk, when you get the Theragun Pro, you get a second battery. So you're getting five hours of total runtime. So which one is best here? This, I mean, this is like a toss up. On one hand, you get a single battery, but it lasts longer. On the other hand, you get two batteries, but they don't last as long. I don't know, check marks to both, I guess. I guess they both have their time and place. Here's here's where I stand. I'm not going to use this enough that battery life becomes an inconvenience to me. I'll make my final my final thoughts later. But, you know, if I'm just using this for 5 to 10 minutes of time, once a week I can charge it up and I'm solid. Now to the important bits, the actual meat and potatoes, the guns themselves. Is that in? It doesn't fill in. It's not sitting flush. It's driving my OCD nuts. It, this battery door, it doesn't, this battery doesn't sit flush. It should, like right there. As you can see, the Theragun offers this very unique triangle handle, right? So you can grip it from three different place I don't know okay but it also comes with this articulating arm that goes through four different you press this button and it's being kind of stubborn but anyway the arm can go through these different positions and that's to help you get to those hard to reach areas hypervolt does not offer any of that it is fixed into one location Here's an advantage of the Hypervolt. Again, it breaks down. I can take this apart and this becomes very packable, very portable. Its footprint is much smaller than the Theragun Pro. Uh, it's also lighter. So when we're talking about packability, portability, pack, yeah, anyway, this is a half a pound lighter. It's two and a half pounds, that's three pounds. So maybe if you're traveling, Let's say you decide to go on a hike and you want to use this. Well, that little bit of weight can make a difference from, for you. I'm not that person, but maybe one of you watching is that person and really appreciates a lighter device. Theragun offers their quiet force technology. They say at the amount of force that it can put out, which is 60 pounds, there's not another motor quieter. Now, I don't know the amount of force the Theragun can put out, but it is 10 decibels lighter. This is 68 decibels on average during my testing, and this was 78 decibels during my testing. Along with that force, that 60 pounds of force, Theragun also has 16 millimeters of travel. What does that mean? I'm talking about how far the cone comes in and out uh, or whatever attachment, how far the attachment goes in and out uh, during the vibration. Now, I don't know what the uh, Theragun is, but just side by side, I don't know if you can see that, the Theragun's moving Bigger travel out of the Theragun Pro, great. However, more percussions per minute out of the Hypervolt. At its high setting, this has 3,200. At its high setting, the Theragun has 2,400. Now, that percussions per minute, like being higher, might simply be the fact that it's traveling less distance. But let me ask you this. Is more travel and faster percussions per minute better? Who the heck knows? Companies do this all the time where they throw out these numbers like, hey, it has now it has 30% more force. 
Well, does that mean it's a good thing? Does that mean it's better than having less force? I don't know. Um, if it is, I would love to see the studies from both companies backing those claims. Because if not, then it's just kind of a sensationalist selling point. Just FYI. Uh, to me, I, I really can't tell the difference between 3200 and 2400. Like, I can put these on my legs at the same time and you're just not going to be able to tell. Okay, on the Hypervolt, I'm going to try to zoom in here. Ooh. Uh, we have an OLED display and it shows battery life. If I turn it on, it's going to show me the PPMs or the percussions per minute. It's also going to give me a force meter. So when I press down into my hand, you can see those lines starting to appear and it'll tell you how much force you're using. Oh, that kind of hurt. And it was really loud. I'm sorry that there's not another way to do that. Actually, there is. B-roll. Dumbass. Anyway, okay, so just a big selling feature of this device is an OLED display. So it's going to give you real-time feedback of your battery life, program you're on, force meter, percussions per minute, etc. There is no force meter on the Hypervolt. On the newest version, or no, uh, yeah, no force meter on this version of the Hypervolt. There's no LED OLED display on either version. On the newer version of the Hypervolt right here, where those three lines would be, or these three dots, Right here you would have three more LEDs that tell you the force, the amount of force you're putting out. And uh, here are my thoughts on the force meter. Completely unnecessary. Why might you ask? Well, I think if you're going to rely on a display to tell you whether or not you're applying the correct amount of force to yourself or to a client, that seems really foolish. Uh, again, here's why. Let's say I'm applying quite a bit of force and it's causing me pain and I'm uncomfortable. But this thing is telling me that I am applying the right amount of force or even worse, not enough. Well, those pain signals are there to protect me. And if ignored, maybe I create more inflammation and prolong the recovery uh, time, which is what this is supposed to solve. Plus, if I'm a professional and I'm using my Theragun Pro and I've got this in my client and they say they're uncomfortable and in pain and I'm like, no, you're not. This is the perfect amount of pressure. What's the deal with that? You're not. You're just not going to do that. You're going to ask like, hey, how is this? Is this too much pressure? I don't need this to tell me. So, uh, I, th I think it's an unnecessary feature. Is it cool that it has it? Sure but you don't need it, so don't feel bad if you buy one that doesn't have it. Let's talk about the one feature that the Theragun Pro offers that the Hypervolt does not. So Theragun comes with an app. It is their Therabody app. Let us find it, Therabody. When I first installed the app and I opened it up, it asked me if I wanted to connect all of my health data. So it integrates all of my health app data into the Therabody app. That being said, I have no idea how because the amount of time that I've spent going through this and searching, I've not seen in any way how it integrates. I'm not saying that it doesn't, I just haven't seen it. All right. so. Therabody is going to give you some recommended routines. It's either by body part or the activity that I'm doing. You can swipe left. Like, I certainly don't run, so I don't know why it's recommending that. I hate running. Quads, I got little chicken legs, but I do work them. Sleep, so it's kind of cool that it recommends you these things. And let's say I decide to use upper back. Well, it's also gonna tell me what muscles I'm using where to sweep from, what direction to go from, from an A to B point, and then how long to do it, which is kind of cool. If I come to the Explore page, I can pick programs depending on activities, body parts, or ailments. 
and it's that last one that I think is the most beneficial. You know, if you've got plantar fasciitis or upper crust syndrome, they call it Technic, I can click on it. It's going to give me the program length. It's going to tell me the muscles that I'm doing, the protocol for which, you know, like how long I'm going to go for. But I can also hit play now and it's going to give me more information, more detailed information. It's going to give me a closer look at the bicep that I'm supposed to be doing. It gives me a countdown clock of how long I'm supposed to be doing it for. It's going to give me a recommended head for that, like an attachment. Which one should I be using for this particular muscle? It's connected via Bluetooth. And lately it it's not doing it, but it used to when I would turn this on and like use it on myself on the app, it would give me real time feedback as to what pressure I was using. Again, you know my thoughts on these force meters, they're completely unnecessary, but it would give you kind of like a, you know, a play by play of like what kind of pressure you're using and whatnot. The app also lets you change the percussions per minute, the speeds. Uh, via Bluetooth, which is kind of nifty, I guess, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So, most apps, I think, are kind of lame. This app, I think, is actually pretty useful because it's like a how-to guide. A lot of people don't understand anatomy. They don't understand how to fix something like plantar fasciitis. They're going to have to, like, go to a doctor to fix it, and you still might need to, but this is at least educating you, and I think that's pretty cool. You can also go into the store and whatnot. But that's, I mean, that's 90% of the app. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I just brought it up. Speeds. This has five speeds. It goes anywhere from 1,750 ppm, percussions per minute, all the way to 2,400. And using the app, you can actually pick any increment between there. If you're just on the unit, you get those five, you get five levels. On the Hyper Ice... There are, there are three speeds. I don't know any of the lower ones, but the max one is 3,200. All right, which is best? This is kind of uh, a tough one, right? Because some of the things offered are unique to each system and they might fit you and they might not. $300 in difference is a lot. I think it's a lot. However, I would say you're being offered quite a bit more with the Theragun. If I were to, because you don't get a case with the Hypervolt, you don't get an extra battery, you don't get that extra attachment. If you were to buy those three things separately, that's another $150. So now we're looking at 450 bucks compared to 600. That's still another 150 bucks, but that gap is being closed, right? Here's another thing. Theragun Pro comes with a two-year warranty. Hypervolt comes with a one-year warranty. Two-year warranty tells me that they have more faith in this. I could be way off base, but I'm just saying, if you're willing to guarantee product life and any defects within two years, that shows me more confidence than a one-year warranty. You can get a complete replacement if you're outside of that one year warranty for just $99. I'm not sure about Theragun Pro. I've got to find out. Now, this also has cool ergonomics. It's got like this three-way handle and an articulating arm, but me personally, I prefer to use this. It's lighter, it fits in the hand really well. Some of these like handles don't feel that good to me. It makes the weight feel kind of weird being able to hold it like this and staying so close to its center of gravity I feel like I can control this really well I prefer the feel of this unit all in all I'd say if you are a professional a PT a Cairo maybe a gym owner and you're seeing clients and you're going to be using this every single day multiple times a day this is the unit to buy it comes with an extra battery that's actually going to be kind of useful. Bigger warranty. Uh, it, it's more robust. It feels sturdier. It feels like it's going to last a long time. Something suitable for a professional. Well, go figure, Brandon. It's called the Theragun Pro. They make two other units. 
I don't have those, so I couldn't review them. I'm sorry. But this one is meant for the pro. Now, if you're not that guy, you can still buy it. You're just gonna spend 600 bucks. However, if you're a super serious gym goer or just an everyday Joe, this is the one I would go with. It's more packable, it's lighter. A three hour battery, like I said, is gonna last you plenty of sessions. You're not gonna have to worry about battery, uh, right? The, the amount of attachments it gives you are great. That little fork one is awesome. I think if you're just a regular person and you're, you know, just an enthusiast, this is the unit you go with. Either way, regardless if you get Theragun Pro or you get the Hypervolt, they also have a Pro version. I didn't have that one either, so I'm sorry. Either way, if you go with either of these, you're going to be solid. You're going to enjoy the hell out of them because both of them I've been using for months now. They're excellent. Speaking of I'm actually giving away not only this one but I'm giving away their Venom boom their vibrating foam roller their Viper 2.0 and their vibrating massage ball the Hypersphere Mini uh, contest ended on Wednesday I think it's time to uh, find out who won there were 54 comments on my video that was how you entered you had to put in comments there's more comments but most of those are mine so i'm only counting the ones that people put in so we're going to assign each of those comments a number between 54. let's randomize this 35 number 35 you're the winner let's uh let's find out who that was let's go to youtube Watching a little Peter McKinnon video. My channel. Comments. Number 35. So there's mine. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Kim Russell, you are the winner. Now I've got to make sure that Kim Russell followed the rules, but as of right now, yeah, Kim, you won. I hope you enjoy these products. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, so I like doing these. I did one on Compex versus PowerDot, and uh, now I've got the uh, Theragun versus Hypervolt. So I, I enjoy doing these, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. Yes, it does tell me that you like the video and that you want to see more of these types of videos. But do you know what it also does that I think is really important and overlooked? Is that it helps people like yourself also find this video. So if you thought it was cool, beneficial, and interesting in any way at all, other people are going to probably, you know, think the same thing. So by hitting the like video, YouTube pushes it to out to other people like yourself and they can find it. If you love these sorts of things and you want more giveaways, that sort of thing, you need to subscribe because the more this channel grows, the more and better content I can give to you. Well, that's it. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a good time. Let me know what you think of the new angles and then the fancy lights and whatnot. You probably don't care, but I'd love to know. I'll catch you uh, on the next one. Peace. But I don't know if you really care. What about these lights? I got these cool uh, RGBs. Ooh, some blue light.